you promise me Just me and you You promised me I could be your queen And you'd be my king You promised me To wait for two You promised me To wait for two Grazie, bravissimo! We love the ballet, and lucky for us, Florence lives and breathes the arts. Whether it's theatrical, visual, or culinary, the arts have been thriving in Florence for centuries. For me, it's a perfect place to educate oneself in the art of performance. It's fantastic. Yeah, I was training for the part of the for tomorrow. That's right, acting classes tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You too? No, no, no. Why not? I, I have no interest in acting no. class. I can't believe I haven't thought of it before. I'm glad you didn't think about this before, because I'm not coming. Okay? Mm. Bye. Bye. I'll try and get him okay. to come. The perfect late night snack after coming in from the cold is spaghetti a la carbonara. Spaghetti a la carbonara is one of those Italian recipes that's hotly debated as to its origins. Some say it came from the carbonari or the coal miners from Umbria who at the time were working in Rome. And of course the carbonara sauce has lots of black pepper so all the specks look like specks of coal. Others say, no, 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 it's definitely an American influence. After World War II, the American soldiers would bring their Roman friends bacon and eggs and ask that they cook up something. And of course, what do Italians do best? They make pasta. One thing for sure, everyone agrees it comes from Rome. This sauce calls for a little bit of olive oil, not too much because the bacon or pancetta has a lot of fat. I like putting whole garlic, doesn't really call for garlic, but at the very end, just before the sauce is ready, just remove the garlic cloves. So now the bacon part of this recipe is of course Italian bacon, pancetta. Cut it up into little cubes. It's very fatty, so you don't need a lot of olive oil. It has a nice smoky flavor. Of course, if you can't find pancetta, you can use bacon. Hey, the Americans did. Now some recipes call for whole eggs. I like to separate mine, the whites from the yolk, one egg per serving. Next, some milk, right in with your egg whites. Some recipes call for cream, but I find it too heavy. And some salt, and lots of black pepper. Lots. This is the whole part of the recipe. And the Roman part of this recipe is pecorino cheese. It's a sheep's milk, kind of strong cheese. It works perfect in this recipe, and really in a lot of dishes that come from Rome. And make sure you just give it a good mix. Once your pancetta is nice and golden brown and crispy, Remove your garlic. It's done its job. It's only to flavor the olive oil and the pancetta. Not that the pancetta needs a lot of flavor. And shut off your heat. Drain your pasta very well. Now, very important to work really fast, otherwise the egg will start looking like a frittata. I'm 
I'm really not into garnishes. I have a philosophy, if you don't eat it, you shouldn't put it in the dish. The last ingredient for this carbonara sauce is the egg yolk. I like putting it on the individual dishes, and it's something your guests won't expect. After all, the best garnishes are the ingredients themselves. Spaghetti alla carbonara. Not a bad little recipe. Here you go, young lady. Here you go, young man. Cheers. Mm. Not bad for nine euros. Not bad. Mm. So, it's gonna be really nice having you in acting class. Mm. No, no. Class is tomorrow. No, no, no. That's your thing. Mm. I don't feel comfortable. It could be your thing. No. Okay. I love it when you do this. Put an egg yolk on top. Oh, is that all it takes? Ho preso due peperoni per mettersi in mia conto. Grazie, ciao. To me, cooking is a lot like performing. My kitchen, a stage, and my friends and family, my audience. This next recipe is my favorite way of having roasted peppers. It's my aunt's recipe, and it's called Zia Franca's Roasted Peppers. <laughs> There are many ways of roasting peppers. I often roast mine by just putting it on a dry pan. There's the more traditional way, in the oven or on a barbecue. But of course, if you like something a little more dramatic, over an open flame, we'll do the trick. It's a little messier, but it's all part of the performance. The trick to roasting peppers is to make sure that you char all the sides. It may look burnt, but that's okay because you're just burning the skin and not the pepper. Once all the sides of my peppers are fully roasted, make sure you just get a paper bag and throw them in. So once your peppers have been hanging in a paper bag for a while, they become a lot easier to clean because the heat and the steam will loosen the skin. The thing about cleaning peppers is just removing the skin and the seeds. You can use any knife to just scrape away some of the charred pieces. You don't have to be delicate. They're all going to get cut up into thin strips. And now, for the rest of my ingredients, I'm just going to bring it onto the stove and let the performance begin. Start off by heating up some extra virgin olive oil and some whole garlic. I just like to crush it and put it in and then just before serving, remove it. And that's gonna flavor the olive oil and really the whole dish. And start adding some of the ingredients. Capers. And black pitted olives. And now, all your cut up roasted peppers. Saute it all together. A little bit of salt. Yeah, a little bit of freshly chopped parsley. And lastly, what makes Ziafranca's roasted pepper so special, a couple of handfuls of breadcrumbs. And this gives this recipe so much texture and flavor. Mmm. This is a great contorno or side dish. Tastes great now, but it'll taste better once it cools down and served at room temperature. 
ciao, Dave. Oh, ciao. How are you, sweetie? Good. Mwah. So. Hey, hey, hey. Get your own. I am. Hmm. Sure. So, did you change your mind? No. You don't even know what I'm talking no, about. No, I didn't change my mind. Your mother said you were really good in that play when you were young. Me? It was kindergarten. I was a tree, and I didn't even have a line. You were authentic. Right, right yeah. I was a good tree. <laughs> authentic tree. Mm. Well, you know what? I've made up my mind. I don't want to go. Mm, I'd feel silly acting class. Huh? Come on, don't say that. Plus, I perform all the time in the kitchen. Mm, all the time. I know. You create a spectacle in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but you like the food. Sweetie, oh, you'll really enjoy Basta now. Come on. Okay, basta, basta, okay, basta. Go. I won't ask you anymore. Great. Forget it. It's not me. We can do something else. No, don't ask. No, I'm not coming. Don't give me that look. No. Me. What look? That look. Okay, fine, Dave. I won't look at you anymore. What, we're back in grade school? Grade school. Why don't you grow up? Actually, I think you missed a line. You're the one with the gambling problem. Go get some help. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You're the one with the gambling problem, so go get some help. You want to do it again? Actually, I think I'm going to be late for our acting class. Why don't we do it on the way? Okay. Don't give me that look. What look? That. Okay, fine, Dave. I won't look at you anymore. Seriously, how many people are going to be in this class? I'm not sure. Maybe 10? Yeah, like, if they're more than three, I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> You'll do fine. I can't believe you conned me into doing this. I didn't con you. You wanted to do it. I wanted to. <laughs> Who else is going to be here? Sila and Valentina. You know that. was okay. You were it was painless. You were happy. Happy. Oh, caro bello. Oh. No, lei è bella. Eh, <laughs> David, yeah. ma perché vuoi fare l'attore? What? The rumors Mandai. already got out Mandai. that I was uh, in an acting Why? class. Why? So come, come, come with me. Come with me. Where am come I going to go? Vieni a vedere il teatro del sale. Ti faccio vedere una cosa. Okay, yeah. sure. Right yeah. now. That now. Okay. Quickly. Guys, if I'm not back in a half hour, come and rescue me. Okay. 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 <laughs> Dai, andiamo. Ok, so Fabio. Ti, ti faccio vedere, guarda lassù, guarda la sala. Guarda. So Fabio, guarda. what's all this about? So you couldn't bring the theater to your so, house, so yeah. you brought your kitchen to the theater. Yes. Ah, molto intelligente. Sure. So I guess I gotta brush up on my acting, but I wanna come in here. <laughs> I love this place, Fabio. Adesso ti faccio vedere, ti faccio il teatro e ci sono due palcoscenici. Uno dove c'è il teatro vero, con gli artisti veri, e poi c'è l'altro palcoscenico con kitchen. i cuochi. Okay. Sì. Due spettacoli tutte le vere. So Fabio, this is your stage. Sai quante, quante... <laughs> pizza pasta. Pizza pasta, <laughs> ti fare qui dentro. I'm gonna make it for you one day. Un giorno ti faccio una buffata di pizza pasta. Un giorno mangio, sto <laughs> giuro. Ma soltanto un giorno, eh? Non sì. due. E va bene. Un abbraccio. Oh. Vieni. Oh. The cool thing about visiting a great friend and chef like Fabio is that he's always willing to show me a dish or two. Davide, non ho voglia di lavorare oggi. You're feeling lazy or tired? Tired. <laughs> tired. <laughs> so this dish is called lazy tuna, and Fabio's feeling a little tired. So the 
first thing, we have boiled, peeled potatoes that are mashed. No, they're not mashed. No. Ah, they're chopped, finely chopped. Of course, you can use a fork. No. No, please. No, please. No, it's okay, no problem. Va bene. I prefer the knife. knife. Okay, knife. knife. Fuck it, no problem. Next. Next. Put it in the semolo. So, a little bit of fresh chopped Lallio. parsley and garlic. Lallio. Quanto? Un po', dai. Tac. Un, ancora un po'. Basta. Okay, mm. a little bit of pepper. Sì, questo... Mm. Bene. Bravo. Okay, a little bit of crushed chilies. Vai. Vai. Ancora. Facciamo molto piccante. Sì, molto piccante, bravo. Di più. Basta, 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 basta. basta. Okay. Il sale. Sì, salt. Eh? Because it's going to be the bed for our tuna, you have to put a little extra salt. Dimmi quanto. Basta, vai. Basta, basta, basta! Wow. Next. Olio. Of course, extra virgin olive oil. Sì. Dimmi quanto. Togli il dito qua. Sì. Okay. Dove hai visto te questo? Ah, you used to do it like that. In televisione, hai visto. Yeah. Bene. Okay, and you just throw in. Okay, adesso. Okay, so now, eh? use your hands, sì. get right in there. Sì. Make sure everything is getting sì. properly mixed. Condito bene. Condito. Con Condito. Ah, <laughs> condito. Vai, vai, metti qua. Okay. Tutto. Tutto. Puoi usare le mani anche. Benino, è una cosa, perché questo è un piatto un po' grezzo, no? Devi essere raffinato nei gesti, eh? Non devi fare bla bla bla. So Fabio says, use your hands. Sì, non sentano male le patate, le puoi pressare the un po' di più. The eh? potatoes don't mind. Just eh? allora press puoi... down Bene. and evenly C spread it out. fare un campo da tennis, sì. tutto bello lisci. Make it like a Pinja. tennis court, nice and flat. Okay, Bel next. pomodoro, senza la parte liquida. Okay, this is just peel the plum ah, tomato. Tac, tac, poco. È come una pizza. Poco. So a little fresh basil. Basil, bravo. Yes. Anche questo, insomma. Non devi esagerare, eh? Just Perfetto. a little bit. Guarda. Tasca. Ok. Ecco. Oh, via. Next. Poi è destinato, eh? Sì, this is crushed eh. fennel seed. Oh, è boom. Sì, è eh? really strong. Quindi poco poco. Okay. Eh. Next. La scorza di limone. Questo è importante, eh? Ci Fresh vuole, ci lemon vuole. rinds. Sì. You don't have to distribute it all over, just every so often. So when you're eating it, you get this Piacevole. shock of lemon. A touch of dried oregano. The oregano is very it. strong. Profumo. Sapore. It has huh? to be a nice fragrance, not a strong taste. Oh. So now lay out the tuna. You want to cover all the potatoes, and you don't want to cut the tuna too thinly. And of course, if you don't want to put tuna on top, anchovies, any oh, type of fatty fish. And press down with your hand. Oh. And continue adding the same ingredients right on top of the tuna. And lastly, so, some then. breadcrumbs right yeah. on top. Have a soft hand and quickly. Yes, you don't yes, want yes, the tuna to drizzle with Mi fresh olive oil right on top. Mi raccomando l'olio. Just put it in the oven for about five, ten minutes. It's really until the topping gets nice and golden brown. <laughs> If it's good, I made it. If it's okay, Fabio made it. Lo chef mangia quando ha fame, devo avere lo stimolo della fame. Fa un po' mi viene, non mi preoccupo. Cosa facciamo? Buttiamo via. Tira giù. Grazie. Yes. Dipende, dipende. Più... Questa è una ricetta tosco-rumena. My grandmother used to make those. Sono in galera per quella frittata. Stasera venite, eh? We'll come today and check out the performance. Yeah. Yes, c'è una sorpresa forte.
Promise me. 